Hey guys, today we're gonna set this up. So let me just open up my Oculus and you're gonna see this message where it tells you that you need to set up your Horizon profile. And yeah, that's just something new that we have to do. There's really no way around it. So let's just go and set it up. Just press next, then you'll be taken to this part. So in this case, you can set up with Facebook or without Facebook. Right here, it's gonna explain to you what it means without Facebook what it means with Facebook. For example, if you don't use Facebook, you won't see your Facebook friends who use Horizon. So that's why what I say is just go ahead and set up with Facebook. Most likely you already have everything set up with Facebook. So just go ahead, tap there. You're gonna see this, it's gonna tell you if everything looks all right, that's your Facebook right now. If it isn't, log out whatever Facebook you've got, then go back in and log in, then open this app and do it all over. But anyways, right now we're just gonna go into continue. Once you press continue, you're gonna see this page, which is just gonna give you a bunch of your details, email, password, logged in with Facebook, birthday, and other stuff. But anyways, right now just tap on finish account setup. And once you do that, it's just gonna play a video. Of course, you don't have to watch it. You can go ahead, just not watch it, <laughs> and just hit next. At this point, they do ask you to choose a name for your Horizon account. You could type in the same thing, or you can type in a different one. It's really up to you. It, it's actually kind of weird that they ask you for that. It just makes it more confusing because you have so many usernames and then your Facebook name. But I would suggest just typing in the same thing as your Facebook or your Oculus username that you're using at this point. In this case, I'm just gonna space it out, tech and design, next, and here we go. They don't always let you do spaces. I don't think you let me do spaces anyways because I see it all together, but that's fine. Continuous tech and design. We can just tap on complete profile and here we go. We just go to next, next. So then it's gonna take you here. Now it depends what type of privacy you would like. So maybe you don't want anybody to see any of your stuff. Just choose the first one. Well, the last one where it says solo, choose that one. If you want medium type of thing, just your friends and family can see your activity. Then choose the mid middle one. And then the very first one where it says open to everybody just makes everything public. So that's awesome. People can find you and follow you and stuff like that. In my case, I, I, yeah, for me, it's the first one open to everybody. So I can go ahead and review. And this means that people can follow me without my approval. Also means that anybody can see my activity, which is fine for me. They can see my activity right here that I do Oculus. That's completely fine. So I'm going to accept and continue. So this part, same deal. You guys can choose whether you would like people to be able to see your other profiles, such as your Facebook and Instagram, or you can just turn that off. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on, go next. And here we go, we can just create an avatar. At this point, we can just go next, or we can go ahead and edit avatar in VR. Just to make this a little bit faster, I'm just gonna go next. And now finally, we're actually finished. So let's just tap on finish, and there we go. Anyways, that would be it for today's video. Now you have full access to your app like you used before. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate.